Hey, welcome to Lead Update. Uh, we're here to, as usual with an awesome human being, and this month it's Lindsay Agro from Best Buddies. Lindsay, we are always happy to see you and to work with you, and and uh, you help us and you help our students to um, learn vocational skills, and um, and we're just so happy that uh, to have this relationship between. The lead program and best buddies and we wanted to say thank you by making you an awesome human being so thank diana you. can you please give her the uh, award and let's give her a round of applause thank you guys it's such a pleasure working with you guys you guys are the best and your students diana zach everybody you make great strides every day thank so. you thank you thank you guys okay Yay. welcome to our awesome human being interview i'm zach torres this is lindsay agro she's our awesome human being hello lindsay welcome to the show Thank you so much for having me here, Zach. This is such an honor. How are you today? Doing good, thanks. Great, wonderful. So tell me about Best Buddies. That's a great question. So Best Buddies is a phenomenal nonprofit organization, and we really focus on giving opportunities to people who haven't had those opportunities. We work with a lot of people in the IDD community, and it's just a fantastic organization. So what is your favorite part about your job? My favorite part about my job is definitely interacting with a wide range of students, such as yourself, Zach, and really seeing everybody thrive in the community in jobs and internships. Um, that's definitely my favorite part. Is there anything hard about your job? I think the hardest part for me is the end of the year and having to say goodbye to the students that I've created relationships with and just trusting the process and trusting the fact that they're going to do well after they're out of our hands. What's your favorite food? Oh my gosh, that's an even harder question. My favorite food, and this is kind of funny, is lobster. I love lobster. I love seafood. Sometimes people don't always agree with that, but I do love lobster. <laughs> Okay, uh, anyone you want to say hi to? Sure, um, I would love to say hi to my entire team at Best Buddies, Julianne, Julia, and Caroline, and my wonderful fiance at home. All right, <laughs> any advice for younger people? Um, yes, my biggest advice is always follow your heart, no dream is too big, and um, just trust in your family, your support, and your gut. All right, great. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> thank oh, and you. congratulations on being today's awesome human being. Oh, Zach, thank you so much. I really appreciate being here. Hi, everybody, and it's time for Homes Investigates. Yes, we are. It's the wonderful month of May. Now, we kind of missed April, but, you know, it's yeah. springtime. A lot of yeah. things are happening. Uh, yeah. they, what do you think of spring? We've got the, the prom for the high school. Yeah, the prom for the high school. Kids are getting ready to, Kids getting ready to uh, graduate. Be, to graduate. But one of the big things in the spring, it's what season? Baseball. It's baseball season. So we thought we'd salute baseball season today on Homes Investigate. We put our crack research team uh, on, on it, and we're going to kind of investigate a little bit about Norwood baseball. And yeah. Norwood has a very yeah. rich uh, baseball tradition. In fact, I think just a few years ago, they won the uh, state championship. Yeah. Coach Kevin Igo, way to go, go Mustangs. Uh, but they've got a history of this. So we yeah. thought we'd talk about a few Mustangs that were in the big leagues. Ooh, and we're going to go back hairs. in time a little bit. And the, the first player we're going to talk about is... Marty Callahan. 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 He played a long time ago, 1922 to 1930. Who did he play for, Con? He played for the uh, Cubs. 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 And the uh, so, Reds. The Reds, yeah. And he was an outfielder and a pinch hitter. He uh, batted 267. Um, he played um, from 28 to 1930. He was a 1916 graduate of Norwood High School, if you can imagine that. Um, and he was highly celebrated in, in Norwood at the yeah. time. And you know, that was a long time ago. He's actually, if you wanted to pay your respects, he's buried up at the Norwood Cemetery. Yep. You know, our, so next, our next player, also from quite a I while ago, is... From Back to the Future. He wanted Marty to say that Mighty McFly, same name. Same right. name. Are you ready, Con? Who's our next yep. player from a right. Mustang that played in the big leagues? Ray? Ray Martin. Martin. And he Martin played in 43 to 48, played for? Boston Braves. Braves. Played for the Braves, not the Red Sox, the Braves. Um, and he was a pitcher, and he must have been a, um, a relief pitcher because he didn't have many decisions. But uh, I, he also served in World War II, which might have interrupted his career. But um, 
I found it interesting. One fact, Ray was so good that the Red Sox sent a scout to the Norwood High Prom that year oh, to try and yes. recruit him. It didn't work. He signed for the Braves. Yeah. But he's, now we're going to turn the page. We have a couple more to go. And this oh, guy oh, oh, oh. may be one of the great athletes that ever uh, performed at Norwood High. His name is Richie Hebner. Yeah. Uh, he played for the... Uh, Pirates. Pirates. And he played from 68 to... 85, and 85. he was a really good player. The Pirates were very good at that time. Uh, he They won five National League Eastern Division titles, and they won the series in, um, in 1971, so he's a World Series champion. He also was a yeah. fabulous hockey player, uh, just a really yeah. good, good, good athlete. And I recognize the name from the movie, It. Hi, Goji! <laughs> But th I thought you might recognize his name because he lives in what neighborhood? What school? Um, the Old Ham. The Old Ham School. So if he went to the Old Ham, he's probably the second most famous uh, graduate because the most famous graduate of the Old Ham is? Me. <laughs> Connor that Holmes. Means, uh, That's right. Me. Our last player is Billy Travis, who was a pitcher. And Billy was an outstanding high school pitcher. He had uh, through three no-hitters. He was 13-0 and 0 with yeah. senior year. Um, Drafted in eight, when he was 18 years old. Unfortunately, injuries really uh, affected his uh, career. He played for the Brewers. Brewers. He was 65 and 71. Had a 4.10 ERA. He had th three or four really great seasons. Um, so that's kind of a salute to Norwood baseball and the big leagues. But we're not done yet because it's baseball season. And what do you oh, have to yes. do when it's baseball season? Oh, you no. have to sing the song, and everybody wants you to sing. The ball you've game. You've got so much talent. So you ready to go? And also, this song's a little cringy for me. It's okay. <laughs> it's not that cringy. It's Don't a tradition. Don't listen to Mike. He's very live. Are you ready? He says I'm very Listen. Very listen. Stay with me. Take me out to the ball game. <laughs> take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back for its root. Root, root for the Red Sox. That's right. If they don't win, it's a shame. Here, I got Here we go. You finish it for me. For its a shame. One, one two. two. Three strikes, you're out in the old ball game. How are you today? <laughs> Hi, Diana. I'm fine. Thanks for being on my segment. Happy to. So who are we talking about today? Jimin. Who exactly is Jimin? He's a dancer and main vocalist from BTS. Well, that went. <laughs> so, so was Jimin his real name? Yes. He was thinking about changing it to a showbiz name like Baby J or Baby G or Young Kid, but in, in the end, he decided to keep his own name. I see. So how did, how did, he, get, how did he get into K-pop? In high school, his dance teacher told him he, she should try out for a K-pop group, so he did. How did the audition go? Great. He was accepted by, as a trainee by Big Hit Entertainment. How old was he? About 15 or 16. If you ask Jimin what is, his, what is a perfect day, what would he say? Sunny with the cool breeze. What makes him happy? When people compliment him on dancing and singing. What, what is your favorite Jimin song? Like Crazy. Okay, but what, what is he doing now? He's in the military until 2025. Okay, well thank you for, letting, for letting, uh, for, my god. Okay, well, thank you for telling us all about Jimin. Uh, th th uh, oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. i uh, see you next see month. See you next month. Welcome back to Zach's Jokes, everybody. Today's jokes are from the old ball game. Oh. So tell me, Vicky, why did the baseball player join the band? I have no idea why. Because he had the best pitch. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Quiet horse. Quiet horse who? Okay. 
Uh, why don't baseball players need to bring ropes with them? I don't know. There are no ties. Oh. Why should you stand in the corner if you get cold? Uh, I don't know why. Because it's always 90 degrees. <laughs> uh, what did the glove say to the ball? What? Catch you later. Ah. <laughs> what has four wheels and flies? Uh, I don't know. A garbage truck. A, a garbage <laughs> truck? <laughs> How could they fly? They have no wings. No flies, like the bug flies. Oh, I get it. I thought, <laughs> I thought about like, like with bird wings so they could fly. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, why does the batter avoid curved streets? I don't know why. Because he prefers the line drives. Uh, <laughs> what do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. An irrelevant. Why does the pitcher raise one leg when throwing a ball? I don't know why. Because if he raised the other, he'd fall over. <laughs> what tea is hard to swallow? I don't know. Reality. <laughs> <laughs> what surrounds the field without moving? I don't know. A fence. Ah. <laughs> Hey, Zach, did you know I used to be addicted to soap? Uh, wait, you, you did? Yeah, but I'm clean now. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, why were the baseball players wearing armor? <laughs> I don't know. Because it was a night game. <laughs> what is the term for birds that stick together? Uh, I don't know. Velcros. <laughs> right. uh, why is it always super hot? in the stadium during a game. Why? There are no fans. <laughs> what did the frog order at the diner? I don't know, what did he order? French flies. <laughs> What's the biggest rule in zebra baseball? No idea. Three stripes, you're oh. out. <laughs> Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? I don't know, why do you roll down the hill? <laughs> to get to the bottom. But what, but, uh, what, where do baseball mitts belong in a car? <laughs> where? In the glove compartment. Oh! All right, what do you call someone that never farts in public? Uh, I don't know, what do you call him? A private tutor. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, well, well, that's all for this, for this episode of Sex Jokes. Oaks, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> We'd like to take a moment to say thank you to all our community partners and volunteer sites. Simple Sweets Norwood, the Norwood Theater, the Norwood High School Library, Meals on Wheels, Norwood Thrift Shop, Norwood Senior Center, Rocky East Hardware, <laughs> Golden Ridge Doggy Daycare, Samita's Insurance, Emerald City, Samita's Insurance, Emerald City Plant Shop. From all of us at Lead, thanks. Thank you.